What's up guys, Carbo back with another rebuild. Today we are going to be doing a New York Giants rebuild with the with Kenny Galladay and Kyle Rudolph on the team. So let's take a look at the roster um, as of right now with these guys. So let's generate best lineup, yes. So we've got Galladay, Superstar Development, Darius Slayton, Sterling Shepard, uh, Daniel Jones, Saquon Barkley, the typical O-line, and then Kyle Rudolph on the team. Let's take a look at what they look like um, on the New York Giants. So uh, Galladay's wearing 89, looking really nice. And then Kyle Rudolph wearing 83, looking really good. So uh, we got to continue to build this team through the draft um, with the front seven and a little bit on that secondary also. Um Logan Ryan is at free safety. I might change Logan Ryan back to corner, uh, depending on his stats. Actually, let's look at those now. 87 speed, 83 zone, 82 man. So we might move him back to corner and let Xavier McKinney start. And we may even move Jabril Peppers to linebacker or to corner. Linebacker actually sounds really good. So uh, with that, we're already at the draft. We did free agency. We signed Galladay. We got uh, Kyle Rudolph. So we'll just jump right into the draft uh, because of that. Pause the draft. We pick at number 11. Uh, once again, we do have the regular or the realistic draft class. Um, Caleb Farley just went to the Cowboys. So we could take a quarterback. We could forget about Daniel Jones, move on from him, and take a quarterback. But I would like to give him a little bit more of a shot um, going forward. We do need O-line basically everywhere, so we could work on that. Uh, D-line, Rousseau doesn't look too bad, actually, honestly. Um, never really drafted Rousseau before. We could go with Sertain. I really do like drafting Sertain here, Patrick Sertain here. Um, it's either Rousseau or Sertain. Um, wow. Uh, let's take a look at the roster real quick just to make sure and see what it looks like. So we've got we've got some ends. We don't really need Rousseau. We could use Sertain a lot more. So I'm going to draft Sertain, actually. So I'm glad I looked there. Ooh, I don't want to trade. We'll draft Sertain. I keep saying that. Uh, we'll draft him. A minus press, B zone, 75 overall. Hidden development, 6'2", 202, 91 speed. Good coverages, good press. Terrible catching, but that's all right. Uh, really excited about that pick. I feel like with Galladay... Kyle Rudolph, and then now just drafting uh, Patrick Sertain. We look really good already. Um, we just got to hope that our guy, um, our guy Daniel Jones can show up. Um, look at this O-line. I do want to draft Wyatt Davis. Um, we could move him to center. I'm actually really interested in drafting Kyle Davis, or Wyatt Davis. Sorry. Um, just to kind of Continue to build our line, help our guy, uh, Daniel Jones. And I think I'm going to take Kyle Davis. Or why, why does he keep saying Kyle Davis? Wyatt Davis. We're going to take Wyatt Davis and move someone to center. 72 overall hidden development. Um, and already the Giants, this Giants offense is looking so much better. Um, so we'll make a new pick. The Cowboys just drafted Mac Jones in the third round. That is an interesting decision. I guess with Dak on the um, franchise tag in the game, uh, they want to be sure. So we could go back up running back here in the third round. Uh, receiver, tight end. Not really interested in any of that. We could continue to build this linebacking core I do like Baron Browning we're gonna go Baron Browning here Baron Browning joins the Giants 69 overall hidden development so we've got three hidden developments in this draft advance to our next pick uh, let's take a look at this pick and we could go safety here I do like Caden Stearns a lot um, so let's go Caden Stearns 69 overall, 88 speed, 73 zone. Good. We can find a spot for him. Um, and that's the last of our picks because I did trade our picks away. In order to get Kyle Rudolph, I didn't change him at the home screen. I just traded some six-rounders away to get him. So those are the last of our picks. We're going to move, th some, move some things around on the team. 
look at the team uh, week one, look at all the changes I, uh, I've done, and then we'll sim the first season with uh, the new additions. So I will catch you guys at the beginning of week one to see what the New York Giants are looking like um, and how good they end up. So I'll catch you guys there. What's up, guys? Krubba back. And okay, so we're at week one. We are going to take a look at this new look Giants team that I'm actually really uh, excited about. So we've got Daniel Jones. We'll see how he does in this for in this first year. Uh, you know, the beast Saquon. We'll add a backup running back. Um, <clears throat> but we've got Galladay, obviously. Darius Slayton in the slot. Sterling Shepard out there. Wyatt Davis at guard, and we move Zeitler to center. Um, and then that offensive line is already looking a lot better. Ingram and Rudolph, as we showed before. And then our front seven is looking a lot better. We've got Browning right now as a backup, but he could potentially become a starter. We've got Xavier McKinney at free safety. Julian Love at strong safety. Move Logan Ryan to corner and move Jabril Peppers to middle linebacker. So very excited about this team. Uh, got Logan Ryan at slot corner. And yeah, we're looking really good. So we'll advance from there. We are a 77 overall offense, 80 overall defense, but I think we'd look a lot better than that. But we'll advance this um, first season, see how the team is looking, see what we do. Um, and see if we need to move on from Daniel Jones also because uh, if Daniel Jones doesn't perform we're just going to get rid of him um, and dra either draft a new quarterback or trade for someone so um, but anyways we'll sim this season and I'll catch you guys at the end of year one so see you there all right guys we are back and as you can see we made the playoffs year one with the new additions the draftees all of that we're 10 and 6 as the Giants we'll take a look at this playoff bracket and the Giants are the three seed, so San Francisco with the one seed, surprisingly. Uh, but we'll be playing the Detroit Lions. Um, they do have Stafford. They don't have Goff. So we'll be playing Stafford. Um, but we're first in the division, 10 and 6. Let's take a look at these stats. Eighth overall in offensive yards, which is amazing with Daniel Jones. Tenth overall in defensive yards. So our, our changes, our improvements did work. Daniel Jones is 34 touchdowns, 4,500 yards. Saquon hits his 1,000-yard mark. And our backup running back even has six uh, rushing touchdowns. Darius Slayton balls out, 13 touchdowns, 1,100 yards. Sterling Shepard, 1,000. Galladay, almost 1,000. And Evan Ingram, almost 1,000. Kyle Rudolph, not with the um, production that we wanted, but that's all right. A lot of people succeeded this year. Uh, Blake Martinez leads the team in tackles. Leonard Williams, most sacks and interceptions. Julian Love and Caden Stearns, the rookie. And then Logan Ryan, James Bradbury, Blake Martinez. Let's see how, um, I want to see how, first of all, how did Patrick Sertain do? Half a sack. He had, he had two deflections. Okay. I also wanted to see how our guy, Jabril Peppers, did. So he had four tackles for loss, 45 tackles, a deflection, no force fumble. So he did okay at middle linebacker. Um... Yearly awards, Matt Ryan wins NFC or MVP and Offensive Player of the Year. Do the Giants win anything? No, so just an overall solid year for the Giants. Um, we will be playing the Detroit Lions, as we said, so we'll go ahead and advance that, see how we do, live reaction. Oh, and we lose. Okay, so we lost... First round, I feel, that happens way too much in these sims. I feel like you make the playoffs and then you get bounced out first round. Uh, really hard to win in Madden 21 sims, I feel like, but we'll see. We'll take a look at this uh, box score. Stafford throws for 183, two picks. Daniel Jones throws two picks and gets sacked three times. Uh, Sterling Shepard had a great game. That's about it. Let's take a look who did well on defense because it looked like a very defensive game. Auckland Dix, Blake Martinez, Jabril Peppers gets his interception, and then sacks. Okay, so we did get uh, bounced out. Daniel Jones did do well enough to stay, I think, 4,500 yards, 34 touchdowns. No need to draft a replacement. He's being very serviceable. Um, so we'll keep him, but we will jump into offseason. I will re-sign players. I will do... Um, the free agency and we'll catch up at the end of free agency and jump into the draft together so i'll catch you guys there all right guys so it is uh our free agency is over we signed mike mcglinchy so we locked him up for four years so we have a right tackle now uh, marquis bounce even though he retired we signed him 
signed Todd Gurley and Andrew Billings for just for some depth. Uh, so got better on the O line, got better um, at running back for depth and on the defensive line. So we're going to start this second year draft. Uh, we do have the 23rd overall pick, the Rams pick first, which is very surprising. Um, and we're going to take a look at these prospects. So there is a running back available, receiver, not really interested in that. Uh, we could take a center um, because we will need one after this year. Tyrone Richards looks really good. Um, Leonard Anthony looks amazing, actually. We could continue to build our secondary. Um, wow. Okay, so Leonard Anthony looks really good. 6'4", 240, and he's the second fastest linebacker. And then Tyrone Richards, the fastest D tackle. Um, hmm, decisions. Let's take a look one more time at our defensive side of the ball. Okay, so we've got Dalvin Tomlinson, and that's really it on D tackle. And then who is oh middle linebacker? We got Blake Martinez and Jabril Peppers. So we really could use a linebacker, um, like a good one. And we could actually use that D tackle, but we could we could take Anthony here and then hope that the D tackle falls. But I just feel like this guy is going to be a lot more valuable, um, Leonard Anthony. Just because Blake Martinez isn't that good, we could use Blake Martinez as trade fodder or Jabril Peppers as trade fodder, whatever you want. So I'm going to take Leonard Anthony, 77 overall, number three in true talent. Nice. 89 speed and he's 6'4", 240. 85 hit power. Um, what's his own? 62. Okay, that's not bad, but still. Amazing pick there. Amazing pick. Thankfully, we didn't go for that D tackle because I almost did. Um, and we'll see if he's actually available now in the second round pick. I don't think he would be. Um, because, he, yeah, he was the best D tackle in the draft. Um, but that's okay. And we're going to look at corners here. Um I'm really excited about that linebacker though because he um, he looks really good and now we can get rid of Blake Martinez or Jabril Peppers um, and just kind of look elsewhere um, in that spot. Not a whole lot popping out to me right now, honestly. We could take Will McFadden. I think we'll probably take Will, McFad Will McFadden or Bo Brown. Bo Brown does fit the scheme, so he'll level up a little bit faster. Okay, we got Bo Brown. Uh, not the best second round pick, but we'll take him. Hopefully he can develop with that scheme fit um, and kind of just grow into the system. We do need some D tackles. We did not scout D tackle. I put that on, I put scouting on auto. Um, but we'll take a look at these guys. All right, Arthur Boss. We'll go with Dalton Harrison here. 70 overall, good depth there at the third round pick. Um, could look to also draft a running back and potentially a backup quarterback. Quarterback suck. We could take this Davin Hooks guy, Leon Wilson, Andrew Hennings, None of these guys are really popping out to me either, honestly. Um, I love power backs just because they always look good, but they end up never really being that good. Um, let's see. This is a good pick right here, I think. Um, okay, Jake Burr. We already took a corner. I think we're just going to take a running back. We'll just take Devin Hooks here. Um, yeah. 4-5, four, 4-40, four, 4-5-7. Four, we'll take Devin Hooks. Just see uh, what he's looking like. 66 overall, 87 speed. Nothing crazy. Not the best draft, honestly. Uh, we'll just advance to the end of this draft. It's not the best one, but with the free agency signings and that first round pick, uh, that first round pick makes up for everything. Um... So we are going to get the team ready and probably trade Blake Martinez or Jabril Preppers, whoever I can get more trade uh, trade value for, and then we'll show the team. 
So I'll see you guys at week one. All right, guys, so we're back. Uh, week one, we are an 85 overall offense now, 83 defense, looking really nice. Daniel Jones has the star development now. So he went up. Darius Slayton also went up in development. Um, our entire O-line has star. We got Garrett Bradbury. We traded him, um, I forget to who, whoever, whatever team he's on, for Jabril Peppers. I tried to trade Blake Martinez first. Excuse me. Tried to trade Blake Martinez first, but he has such a big cap hit. Um, that it was kind of hard to trade him and fit him under other teams' caps. So we traded uh, Jerome Peppers. Uh, defense is looking uh, pretty similar. Uh, front seven still looking really good. We got the rookie, um, Leonard Anthony, starting at middle linebacker. Safeties are looking good. Corners looking good. Um, really excited about this team. I don't feel like this team has any true weakness. Um, maybe the linebacking core is a weakness. Uh, the O-line could be, especially that left side, but overall it's a really good team. Um, so we're going to advance through this season and see how the team does and hopefully get a second playoff berth and hopefully get some playoff wins under Daniel Jones and the New York Giants offense. Um, so I'll catch you guys at the end of year two. All right, guys, so it is the end of year two. Uh, Darius Slayton just got a new ability. As you can see, practice squad players have been signed, which means we didn't make the playoffs. 87 overall offense right now, though. 8-8 eight eight overall team, or 8-8 eight eight overall record for the team. So it didn't make the playoffs. Offensive yards fell down. Let's see where defensive yards is. Uh, that also fell down. So Daniel Jones threw 23 interceptions. Yikes. So after a really good first year, he falls way off. Uh, Saquon gets 1,200 yards, 10 touchdowns. The rookie running back that we drafted got 10 touchdowns also. Uh, must use him as a goal line guy. Kenny Galladay, the big free agent signing from uh, a year ago. Has the only 1,000-yard season of the team. Sterling Shepard gets seven touchdowns. And then Darius Slayton leads the team in catches. Uh, let's take a look at it. Blake Martinez leads the team in tackles. Leonard Anthony second there. Uh, Sacks, Lorenzo Carter actually leads the team. And then interceptions, Julian Love. Um, so looking... Caden Stearns with another one, uh, even as a backup safety. And then Harry Norton. So it looks like... A rookie won MVP. Uh, that's really rare and really not common to see. Leonard Anthony almost won Defensive Rookie of the Year. Where did our running back end up? Not too great. I thought he would end up higher with uh, all those rushing touchdowns. Didn't win any awards. Didn't make the playoffs. Um, so we're just going to send right to the offseason. Um, and so basically, I'll send to the offseason and catch you guys at the draft, show you all our re-signings and free agency signings. So, see you at the draft. All right, guys, so we are at the draft. I didn't make any signings, any big signings, um, just because we're running into kind of cap problems. Did end up cutting Kyle Rudolph, so he, he worked for us for two years. Um, then we cut him. Just He was regressing and uh, saved $9 million against the cap, cutting him. So, cut Kyle Rudolph so we can start looking for a backup tight end. Uh, but basically, we have the 17th overall pick this year. Um, got some good running backs in the draft, but they're all power backs, so I feel like that's pretty deceiving. Uh, tight end, we don't have anything crazy. We could look out for here for Javante Beach, he look, or Bacon, he looks pretty good. Um, center here, Andy Jenkins, Tracy Brennan, Zach Hitchens, a really good year for uh, O-line. Jared Chapman looks amazing. Um, D-line looks good. Okay, so we have options this year. We do have options. Um, I don't really like taking a defensive tackle with like your first round pick, really. Um, especially we have Dalvin Tomlinson. Jared Chapman though does look really good, and I think I'm gonna take him. Uh, so we take Jared Chapman. Yikes! Uh, 72 overall. Normal development, not the best pick. Uh, I thought he looked really good. I thought he was gonna be really good. Not very good. Um, but we'll continue to work here. We, had, we do have Bacon available. I'm hoping he falls to the third round. Because um, I would like to take Andy Jenkins here. I would like to take Andy Jenkins here and then Bacon. Um, where's Andy Jenkins? I would like to take him. 71 overall. We're not having very good luck this year. Or this, yeah, this draft. These guys look good and then uh, not too great. Hopefully Bacon is still available. We will see. He is. We're taking him. Snap pick. 72 overall. Hidden development. 89 speed. 
So we add him to our studly uh, receiving core. And now we have a fourth round pick. Let's see, who do we got? In here, Isaiah Granberry, huh? Uh, ooh, look at Dante Bigby. Looks really good. Danny Barkley looks really good. I am worried about him not be having a combine score. Um, I think we take Greenberry here, not the best, and then we'll see if uh, Bigby's available in our sixth round pick. All right. Was he middle linebacker, Bigby? He's not, but Barker, Barkley is, so we'll take Barkley. Okay, 65 overall hidden development. I will take that. Um, we'll send the end of the round, send the end of the draft. Um, and as always, I'll catch you guys at week one, show you the week one roster for year three. All right, guys, year three is over. And again, we didn't make the playoffs. Uh, we were eight and eight. Cowboys went 13 and three. 88 overall offense, 84 defense. Um, I didn't show the lineup at the beginning of the year just because it didn't change too much. I mean, as you can see, it's the same lineup, really. Um, we're not doing well. Uh, year three, 88 overall offense, and we only won eight games. 14th in offensive yards, and let's see how our defense did. 25th, yikes. Uh, Daniel Jones has a bounce back year. Saquon Barkley has a good year. Slayton and Shepard, and even Galladay all have good years. Um, let's see. Leonard Anthony leads the team in tackles. Sacks is Lorenzo Carter, and then Jared Chapman, the rookie. Okay. And then James Bradbury, five interceptions. Julian Love, five. And then everyone, a few other people uh, down the list. So let's look at yearly awards, see if anyone won anything. Um, nothing. Nothing from our team. So year three, we didn't make the playoffs once again. Uh, but we do have a lot of cap. I cleared a lot of cap, got rid of a lot of people. Um, so we should see a lot of big moves in free agency. And potentially moving on from Daniel Jones, honestly. Um, we'll see if he... We can actually check right now because I think in the offseason it does update. He didn't get a development upgrade, I don't think. So, yeah, because James Bradbury did just upgrade. And so did Baron Browning and Lorenzo Carter. So, Daniel Jones didn't get upgraded. So, we could look to move on. Um, I'm going to resign. We'll do free agency. And I'll catch you guys at the draft, like always. And we'll see if we have Daniel Jones still on the team. All right, guys, free agency is over. And as you can see, we signed Chase Young, Chase Young, to a three-year contract. Uh, very excited about Chase Young. Also got Chase Claypool. Uh, so we got Kenny Galladay with superstar development, Darius Slayton with superstar development, and then Chase Claypool also. So we got Chase Young, Chase Claypool, Javarius Ward, just for some corner depth, have either in the slot um, or wherever we can use him, and then A.J. Dillon just as a backup running back. Um, I was really interested in signing Burrow. We didn't have enough money. Um, not a big difference between him and Daniel Jones. So I just said, all right, we won't worry about it. Made a run at Isaiah Simmons, but then the Patriots made a crazy offer to him. Um, so we weren't able to get him. But a very successful free agency, I think. Um, we'll start the draft. We pick 18th overall. So let's see um, what kind of talent we have available here. We are going into year four, so we'll see how the team looks going into year four. Um, wide receiver, not really interested. We have a good wide receiver core. O-line, I'm not really interested in. Robert Killings could be okay. Let's take a look at him. Looks all right. Josh Atkinson. Tyrone Drummond. Okay, so we don't have Jabril Peppers or Blake Martinez anymore. Traded Jabril and then um, Blake Martinez just Contracts expired. So we could go Tyrone Drummond here. Um, I actually really like him. Let's take him. 73 overall, normal development, 89 speed. So we have two 89 speed middle linebackers now. Um, so very excited about that. Very fast linebacking core. Uh, second round pick. Let's take a look at what we got out here. Do we have a left tackle still available? And he looks really good. We could find somewhere to put him. Um, Robert Killings is still here also. I feel like... He's a decent option there. Another really good linebacker. This is actually a really good linebacker class. John Camp could end up being really good. 
I think we're going to go with that left tackle, Steve Hunt. He, he just looks too good to pass up. 70 overall, hidden development, 91 strength. Gives us options at offensive line. Um, very cool, very cool. Let's make our third round pick. Um, let's see. I got looks really good. B pluses all around. DeAndre Silas. <clears throat> Shannard Bullet is still available. We just took a linebacker. Um, but to me, he looks too good to pass up, right? Or even John Camp. Oof. Josh Rivers. I want all these guys. I mean, can we find? Can we find a, a way to put all of these guys on the team? John Camp or Shannard Bullet. I did go to Oklahoma State, and John Camp has a higher um, combine report. I heard that doesn't matter, but we'll take John Camp. 71 overall, 89 speed. So we had three middle linebackers with 89 speed. And that is um, a nice perk to have. We'll make this fourth round pick and we'll likely send the rest of the draft. Um, left guard, Avery Fry, A minus impact block. DeAndre Silas, let's take him. 71 overall. Okay, so we've got some good 70s. We've got some good depth in this draft. We'll advance to the end. Um, I will show you guys the, we'll just jump together to the beginning of the season and I'll show you guys the draft. Um, see what the team's looking like with Chase Young, Chase Claypool, all those additions. Uh, very excited about this team. So we'll advance here, advance the regular season. But yeah, very excited about the team. Chase Young on the team, coming from a uh, division rival also. So that's really cool. Um, not only is he not on their team anymore, he's on our team now. Um, so we'll take a look. 87 offense, 85 defense. Daniel Jones, 81 overall. Really, Daniel Jones is starting to be the only weakness if we have one on the team. Um, Chase Claypool here. We'll probably move Slayton to the slot and Claypool um, outside. But Evan Ingram's still on the team. Front seven looking really nice. Really nice front seven, I think. Um, good secondary. I really, I really don't see too many weaknesses on this team. I think this team is really good. We'll move Claypool out. Uh, actually, he might be good in the slot, honestly. We'll leave him in the slot to see uh, see what that's looking like. We'll move Carter here. But yeah, this team is looking really nice. Uh, so I'll send this season. We'll catch up at the end of the season. This is season four. And we'll see how this team does at the end of season four. See you guys there. All right, guys, year four is over, and we're seven and nine. I don't know what's going on. We have an 87 overall team all around. Um, let's check out the stats. Eighth in offensive yards, so we can't even really blame it on Daniel Jones at this point. Uh, defensive yards, 24th, but our team should not be reflecting that. Uh, Saquon did his thing. Chase Claypool, the new addition, comes in and balls out. Galladay will probably be leaving. It's the last year of his contract. He is 30. He's going to start regressing, so we might let him walk. Um, Chase Young, 15 and a half sacks. Great signing there. Uh, Julian Love, Bo Brown, the rookie corner. I just, I don't understand where our issue is. Our defense looks really good on paper, but they're not performing that way. Uh, the Bears seem to have had a really good season with winning all of these awards. We did not win any awards. We will advance, um, do free agency, look into keeping Daniel Jones. He's not really the issue, it doesn't seem, but... Maybe having a superstar development quarterback or an X-Factor quarterback could help us uh, get over the hump for year five. So I'll do some re-signings, free agency, and as always, we'll jump into that draft together. All right, guys, so we're back. In uh, free agency, we signed Byron Jones and Christian Kirk. We let Kenny Galladay walk. Um, he's just getting too old. But we did get we did make up for that by signing Christian Kirk. Uh, so we will jump in here. Wow, we got some good talent here. Uh, no Sloan, power rusher. Don't like that he doesn't have a combine grade. Chester Reese looking good. Um, Bart Rivers, I don't really want a running back. We're good on running backs. We don't need a line. Really got to make this defense better. Um, really got to make this defense better. Not any good corners, really. Uh, this dude, George Chamberlain, actually looks pretty good. And so does Sammy Johnson. So... We could go back-to-back -back corners um, after this first round. I really like Chester Reese, 6'4", 240. Um, we are in a 
he could help us out with some depth. Um, so we're going to go Chester Reese here. 76 overall, hidden development. Nice. Uh, number three in true talent. Great pick there. And then we're going to couple that um, with a cornerback draft. One of those guys that we liked has to still be there. I doubt that both of them got picked. They're both still here. We're going to go George Chamberlain because he's uh, taller. 72 overall. 91 speed, normal development. Um, and then if the other guy is still here in round three, we're going to take that other corner too. He's got to build um, some corner depth. Uh, and Sammy Johnson is here. So we're going to take Sammy Johnson too. 73 overall, hidden development. Uh, so three really good snap picks. Uh, I liked all of them instantly. They all were still on the board when we were able to pick. Excuse me. And we got all of them. Um, so we're going to keep looking here. There is a fourth round center here. He does look okay. Um, we could use some D tackle depth just to get some, and we have had really good um, picks. So we could just spend a few picks here on D tackle, see what we're looking at. Yeah, let's take a, a D tackle. Sam Searles or Quentin Barrett Barnett. I th I say we take Barnett. Sixty two overall. Yikes. Eighty strength. He will not be doing anything for us. Um, we'll sim, yeah, we'll sim here. Uh, advance to the end of the draft. Again, we'll just advance right into week one together, so that we can look over the roster together, and then we'll um sim the rest of the season and see where we end up for year five. This is year five already. Uh, year five already. So we did twenty twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, and then this is twenty five. Um, so we'll take a look at the team. Team is really good. Uh, and guess what? Daniel Jones did get superstar development, so we decided to keep him. He should be able to help us out more with that better dev trait and some of the abilities. I do feel like, even though it's sim, um, having the abilities does help. Um, or having, yeah, having the, like, the superstar abilities does help, even in sim. So we have that. Uh, front seven looking good. Secondary looking good. We got Johnson there. Um, really good team. Looking like a really, really good team. Specialist Kirk there. Johnson there. Perfect. Um, yeah, team's looking really good. So we'll sim this whole season. And we'll see where the Giants end up. And hopefully they do really well. Hopefully uh, Daniel Jones can take us to the promised land. So I'll see you guys uh, wild card weekend. All right, guys, year five is over, and the Giants went four and twelve. We have an eighty-eight overall team, um, eighty-eight altogether. This sim just has gone terribly. I mean, it's been such a stacked team all around. I feel like, and the the sim has just gone terribly wrong. Uh, I mean, this team, where can we really get better realistically with this team? Um, kind of hard to see, but we went four and twelve. This will be the last season. Um, if I had anything to do over again, I'd probably just get rid of Daniel Jones. It seems like he just wasn't good enough for the team. But Saquon didn't even have a thousand yards. Um, Two thousand yard receivers, a couple of seven hundred yarders also. Um, and then the defense this year just did not do well. Uh, no one over seven sacks. Only four interceptions as a team. Very bad year for the defense. Um, see if we won any awards. Nope, did not win any awards. So Kenny Galladay couldn't help the team um, enough to win. We only made the playoffs once, and that was year one, 10 and six. Even though, even with an 88 overall team, um, I'm not sure how much better you can get. Uh, so yeah, the only thing I really would have changed is probably moving on from Daniel Jones, not resigning him, trying to get someone else. Um, and that probably could have helped. But that's the end of this New York Giants rebuild, guys. If you did like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one.